Okay, so uh, today I'm going to show you uh, my knife collection. I've got this big uh, box right here full of them. This is just my pocket knives. So uh, starting out, I've got this uh, Swiss Army knife. It's just got a scissors, file, knife, toothpick, tweezers. That's such uh, pretty basic, pretty rudimentary, if you will. Um, next, got a weird knife. It's just got a blade. And then another really weird, um, I guess, uh, it's like a rectangular blade. I don't know. Weird. Um, next I have a knife from Alta Lodge, which is a ski resort. Um, it's got a bunch of good stuff. It's got screwdrivers, corkscrew, um, knives, two types of saw, scissors, all that, all that stuff. Okay, and I've just got a good old uh, Leatherman knife, uh, screwdrivers, all that stuff. Um, bigger, bigger set. It's actually got a, I don't know if you can see that, it's got a spring, so it, look like that. It's got a, it's got a crazy looking saw on this though. I don't know if you can see this. You see that? It's crazy. It's got double ridges on it. It's cool. Um, okay. Next is my other Leatherman. It's my third one. It's pretty cool. Uh, next I've got a show knife. It's just got a horse on the side. Looks pretty cool. Uh, then I have this outdoor knife. Pretty, really ruggable, uh, rugged, pretty durable. I call it ruggable. Um, yeah, got a lot of wear here on this knife. Uh, next is my all-time favorite outdoors knife. It's a Gerber Gator. It's a perfect balance between size, um, size, I guess durability and weight. It's really light. All that, all that stuff. So it's really good. And next I have a slightly larger knife. It's a Gerber Gator also. It's pretty huge. Makes me feel like Rambo. Um, and then finally I just have this uh, Smith & Wesson knife. The, uh, the uh, Switch Out one. You already saw this one. Yep. And now we're going to move on to some bigger stuff. Okay, so, uh, bigger stuff. Here's my machete. This one is a zinc covered one. Uh, this one's the better one of my two. Let me go grab my other one. Better one than this one. This one's just a regular steel one. It's a lot lighter, more flimsy. This one was only about $11. This one, the big, uh, dirt one was about, uh, 36 to $40. So definitely go with the bigger, rugged, more ones. Uh, next I have a uh, dive knife, pretty, pretty cool. This little hook right here, very, very dangerous, pulling it out of the sheath. Uh, I nicked it on my finger right here, got caught and I ripped a big chunk of my finger out. So you gotta be careful when you pull this out. Um, next is just kind of like an outdoor knife, just a single blade, leather, uh, hilt. Um, next we go on to the two, uh, even bigger things. Okay, so I've got a European style dagger right here. So it looks like. And so I have a Japanese style, uh, I guess, short katana. There's the hilt. Very cool. This one I sharpened. It's very, very, very sharp. So, uh, yeah, that's basically all the knives and your sharp pointy objects that I have. I could do more. Like I could go into a chainsaw or something, but I didn't really feel like bringing that all the way up here. So, yeah.